Hi Grandma, it's Wendy. I have been working on the second video for you of Newfoundland. So I hope you enjoy it. Bye. We started in Grossmorn Park and I was a little sick. Doug did one hike and then we did this hike together into what's called the Tablelands. After a down day, we started up this road called the Viking Trail and there's mountains on one side of the road and beach on the other side of the road. So as we're driving, we were able to stop at these um, lighthouses and learn about that. Also, we saw a shipwreck, um, very cute little harbors like this one, fishing harbors that are still in operation. And at this lighthouse, we learned about some of the native peoples that were there before Europeans arrived. And also we saw these caribou, which was really cool. This area was part of an old fishing village. Here's the shipwreck I was talking about earlier. This next provincial park was called Arches because of the arches in the rock. And we got there near sunset which was really pretty. Around 10 a.m. the next morning, we hiked over to this dock where we boarded a boat that took us down this fjord. And there was just pretty rock formations on either side, and the water was really clear, so we didn't see many animals. But it was a beautiful day, really calm, and um, it was a fun boat ride. We stayed overnight at Bumblebee Bite. It was a parking lot of this brewery that overlooked this really pretty bay or bite. And the next morning we went to a museum and got some Wi-Fi with this view. Got the raft out the next day at Canning's Cove and paddled around this area. We found some blueberries on the banks of the river. So Doug got out and picked a bunch for breakfast. They were delicious. It was rainy when we arrived in St. John's. This is the biggest town in Newfoundland. Uh, we went to a museum, though, to learn about how they used flags up on Signal Hill to communicate which boats came into port. But you can see it's pretty cloudy. So we decided to walk down to this artist colony that was in this little cove and check that out instead. And then we went to a museum to learn about kind of the history of the area and see some art. We stayed at Cape Spear, which is the easternmost point in North America, checked out this lighthouse, and then walked up to this older lighthouse where we got a tour of what it was like to live and manage this uh, lighthouse 24-7. We were close, so we drove back to St. John's at Signal Point, this hill, to get a better view of St. John's Town. We had lunch in town and also walked around to see these really colorful and vibrant buildings that were just up and down every single street. We stayed at Whitless Bay and took a cliffside trail along the edge of the bay. Had some really scenic views. We took a boat tour the next day to see puffins. They were so cute to watch, but my camera wasn't good enough to capture them. So here's what they look like. They're about six inches tall. Um, we saw some other birds too. This whole rock is covered with birds and here's a picture of them up close. St. John's was as far as we got around the island, so we had to drive back now and went through this mountainous area with the goal of getting to Bonavista. So this is a statue of John Cabot, who founded Newfoundland, and this is supposedly the most photographed lighthouse in Newfoundland um, near Bonavista. 
Near Bonavista, we took a hike out to this area called Pillars Cove and had really neat rock formations. And from there, we headed over to this other feature that they called the Dungeons. You'll see the arches here in a second. There they are. The town of Bonavista is really cute and colorful. And we just walked a little bit around this boardwalk that was in their cove. A reproduction of Cabot's ship called the Matthew is housed in this area, so we did a quick tour of that. From Buena Vista, we drove to Elliston and saw these root cellars. There was also another island here where puffins were, so hoping to get better pictures of them. Here's a couple. They're not that great, but you can see how far away we were. Doug sitting on the rock here looking at them with binoculars. Leaving Elliston, we drove towards Trinity and decided to take this trail called the Skirwink Trail. It's another cliffside trail that um, passes over these beautiful bays and just stunning views. The trail was really well done, lots of boardwalks and um, staircases. And it would go through forests, but then it would just open up on these really beautiful scenic points. It was absolutely my favorite hike in Newfoundland. As you'd expect, Trinity was another one of these really colorful towns with a nice wharf. Very pretty. We had a long drive the next day to Ragged Point. It was a trailhead. Um, but well worth the drive because we ended up at a really pretty boondocking spot right here on the water. And then the trail to the waterfall was very, very nice. Our next boondocking spot had a funny name. It was called Blow Me Down Point. A really pretty area with a great little waterfall and a quiet overnight stay. The next day, we headed out and hiked along this boardwalk and up a hill to this cove, which was my favorite, called Bottle Cove. It was beautiful from up here. We ended our trip to Newfoundland with a hike to Cedar Cove. It was really the perfect ending to a great trip and we've since taken the midnight ferry back to Nova Scotia. Well, that's it for our trip to Newfoundland. We really loved it. It's been our favorite part of our East Coast travel so far. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you feel better soon. We're doing great and I love you. Miss you. Bye. Bye.